Hey everyone, Rick here, and it is time for another Dwarven Forge unboxing. We're going back in the catacombs. Catacombs set two. All right, folks, here it is. Catacombs two. This is basically like a Wicked Editions set, specifically for the catacombs. Now, if we zoom in a little bit, you can clearly see... As with most of their resin sets, a beautiful full color label which shows you exactly what's in the set. The box itself is one of their current standard brown cardboard boxes. And as thrilled as I was with Catacombs Set 1, this... I mean, Catacombs 1 was amazing. It had the basic floor wall and corner pieces that you would want and need. But this has some truly exciting accessories and new sh uh, floor pieces. So let's dive in. As always with their resin sets, the instruction sheet. It's not necessarily instructions. It's kind of an introduction to Dwarven Forge as well as some tips on using the pieces and a checklist of the various resin sets they offer, most of which are out of print at this time. Foam tray for resin is customary, so there is the lid, and then here we go. I hope you're ready to dive into some gorgeous Dwarven Forge resin miniature terrain, because folks, that's exactly where we're headed. Let me go ahead and unbaggy all of this stuff. As you can see, this is the way it's laid out in the foam tray. This box is one single foam tray deep. So I'll unbaggy all this and we'll be back to take a closer look at each of these gorgeous pieces. Feast your eyes, ladies and gentlemen, on Catacombs Set 2. Can you even believe this? This is the expansion pack for the gorgeous, the already mind-blowingly beautiful catacombs resin set from Dwarven Forge. Yes, this is all cast in their polystone resin material. Let's start off right here. Let's take a closer look at exactly what is involved here. This has all been designed to expand the catacomb set. Though I have to say, there are pieces here that could easily expand any of your Dwarven Forge sets. Not just catacombs and not just resin. Even the Dwarvenite sets. Can you see this kind of arcane, you know, ruined floor piece which is a fantastic four by four it'll save you four of the two by two floor sections to plop this down in a room this can be used with anything i love the detailing on this those demons those winged demons in that kind of pattern and especially with catacombs where the floor tiles are you know, going to be used up because there are so many freestanding walls that you can use with the floor tiles that a nice piece like this in the center of a room makes the room bigger and saves you those floor tiles. Across the whole outside edge is that gritty, crumbling stonework detail. As you can see, everything is in that one-inch grid, continuously flowing across all Dwarven Forge terrain, and the felt on the bottom to protect your tabletop. So this is piece one, a piece that I am super excited about. Next up, let's just go big to small. You get exactly one of those floor tiles. You get exactly one of these little bowls that are lined with skulls and include skulls in the bowl as well. A little accessory piece that is just fantastic to add to the already macabre atmosphere of the catacomb sets. Next up is this, this sarcophagus, this, this macabre crypt tomb and there's enough room to maybe you can put maybe some bone piles from the original catacomb set there's an accessory set that has some wrapped up corpses it looks like one would fit in there perfectly or you could just maybe hide some treasure in there and it is jeweled along the outside edge as well as on that sword, there is a jewel shining there. The detail on this is fantastic. This kind of rope 
gold rope work around the outside, these serpents entangled. You can see their tongues there. Love the gold detailing. Love the little jewels. No felt on the bottom of this. Of course, this is going to probably typically be placed on another tile as a feature. But that is a fantastic little accessory in this set. Next up are some doors. If you saw my catacombs set review overview, there were no doors. There were some archways that could lead you from room to room, but no doors. So now here we go. These doors are about an inch and a half wide and have some very exciting features. Number one, they just look gorgeous with that stonework, crumbling gears, iron metal bars, and look at this. Oh yeah, that's right. The gear turns, the skull turns, and what's turning it? This creepy skull skeletal knob on the other side. Oh yeah. And of course the doors fully open and close so you can, you know, dictate visually if a door is open or not. And you get two of them, both fully functioning. Absolutely love that. Next up are these, which I am in love with. Number one, they're basically quarter columns. So if you put them all together, you will essentially make one single skull column and you actually get four of these kind of skull column pillars in catacomb set one but the fact that they broke it into four why is that such a big deal folks there's a couple reasons we need to have a different view here all right let's take a look at this one of the fantastic things about these is, and we'll get to this piece in a second, in a typical corner piece, you could pop this in there as just the end of the corner. Now, this would work better with a typical kind of like a regular room and passage corner piece where there's not a whole bunch of details in here. And this could lie flush up against the corner and just add some extra detail to a corner. Or, of course, you could do it here as well. Either way is fine. But... The truly, truly genius thing that this is perfect for is if you have something like this. And how often do you have two Dwarven Forge wall pieces? They don't have to be corners like this. Just any time they meet up, sometimes you'll have an edge like this where it's edge to edge and there's no big deal. But when you're on a corner like this and there's kind of that little gap in there, that's also really no big deal. But how nice is it to be able to pop one of those guys in there and seal that off? Does that not look gorgeous? Are you kidding me? This, and would you even not believe that that wasn't just perfectly flush with those walls? Oh, it just... Oh, that is so awesome. I can't get over that. That is perfect. I want more of these because how many times do you have things like that happen in your layouts? Oh, perfect. Guys, if it wasn't for the other amazing stuff in this set, those quarter pillars would probably be my favorite part of this entire thing. So then let's go next to this. You get four of these corner walls. It's kind of funny because normally a base set of Dwarven Forge would have the right angle walls. And in the expansion set like this, they would do something extra to them. Kind of reverse here because the original Catacomb set had corner walls just like this, but they were LED and just crazy cool with flickering torch lights. And that was in the base set. So now in the expansion set, now they give us the right corner angle piece toned down. And by toned down in catacombs doesn't mean much because these are still absolutely gorgeous. Corpses, skeletons stacked to the ceiling on the crypt shelves. These corner pieces are awesome. The decaying, crumbling stonework, cracked walls all the way around. You can make out some skulls in the masonry it is just a gorgeous piece four of those all right i can't hold off talking about 
the elephant in the room any longer. There are three gigantic LED pieces. This wall alone would be a centerpiece. You get two of them. And not only is this a fantastic 4x2 section of catacombs wall that has these kind of column pillar etchings with these skeletons crammed into the alcoves and skulls piled up and on the floor, a little stepway to kind of a nice little arch. Not only would this, fully detailed on the back as well, make its own perfect piece. Oh no, they are absolutely LED flickering lights. And oh yeah, you better believe there are accessories abounding. There are, what, five different accessory pieces times three, because each one of these LED pieces has the full set of five. So let's go through each of these. You get a marble. The marble will just stay in the little hole there, and you can just watch the flickering light play through this sphere, this mystic sphere. If you don't want it sitting there by itself, no problem, because you get this very cool vase with a hole in it, so when you put it over the hole, not only does that just look cool as a vase sitting there, you can also pop that in there and then have the torch flicker through the sphere, through the hole in the vase. But you can also have this. There is a small flame, and the small flame can sit inside the vase and just look awesome flickering flame there, and you also get a skull, which technically you could put the skull in the vase if you want, but it also just looks probably the best. It's kind of hard to tell through the camera how this looks, but oh my gosh, it, this flickering flaming skull sitting there, yeah, that is everything. And then the gigantic flame. This is the probably one of my favorites. It just looks huge. This blaze burning atop the stone stairway. Two of these. That's right. This could be it by itself. But no, you absolutely get two of these walls, all five accessory pieces with each of them. And then last, but oh, so not least, this almost like gold gilded skull fountain. This is a heavy, thick piece of polystone dwarven forge resin. Oh yes, it is felt lined on the bottom. Turn that light on, as you can see in this pool, of, you know, water or whatever it is. It looks like there's a bunch of gold in there, a bunch of gold coins, as well as skulls, of course. And all around the outside of the fountain is that crumbling, decaying stonework with the skulls on the corners. This is a four by four square floor piece. And then you can do the exact same thing. Put a vase in the middle there, put the fire in the vase. You could put a marble in the center and just watch the marble glow. You could absolutely make this a even more skullish fountain or whatever with a skull in the center. And then of course the gigantic flame, which just looks absolutely excellent in the middle of that piece. So folks, good lord, if you want a fantastic way to expand your catacombs set, this is it. Everything you're going to want is included here. I am blown away by it. I can't wait to combine these. I'm doing these unboxing videos one after the other, so I haven't combined the catacomb set with the expansion set yet. Can't wait to do that and see how it looks. Oh, I'm so thrilled. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Catacombs 2.
Dwarven Forge polystone resin. Treat yourself to a Dwarven Forge. The luxury of a Dwarven Forge resin set today. There's nothing like it. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time.